Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will see how to fix error session not created exception in Selenium. See, first I will explain you what is this session not created exception. First I will run one simple program and I will show you when this exception is coming. Let me run this program. This program is running. See, if you have noticed, for fraction of second, that browser opened and it closed immediately, right? If in case if you have missed it, I will run it again. Just see this time very carefully. For fraction of seconds, web driver will open, and then see immediately it got closed. Now we'll debug why this error is coming. Why we are not able to uh, open the browser? See here we'll see. We are getting this exception, session not created exception. See session not created. It opened but it couldn't create the session. Now see, we'll see the error, completely error. See most of the times whenever we get any exception error, it will explain. It's very self-explanatory why we are having this problem. problem. See session not created. The version of Chrome driver only supports Chrome version 97 and current browser version C. The, this version of Chrome driver only supports Chrome version 97. Current browser version is 100.0.4896.88. What it means? See, clearly it is mentioned. It means whatever Chrome web driver we are using that is only supports till 97. And our current browser version is hundred that's why it is not able to create the session you might be wondering how it was working maybe yesterday also why it was working when we downloaded this maybe it, it may happen today itself yesterday you uh, you downloaded this 97 version and today suddenly it stopped working why because this uh, chrome uh, web driver version is outdated now so for uh, latest version of Chrome drivers, we have to download latest version of web driver. See, might be yesterday your Chrome version was 97 and you downloaded 97 web driver. So it was working. But today when you started working, it is not working because you might have not checked in the browser settings. We have right something, something uh, automatic updates and all. Either you can uncheck it so it will not automatically update it. And if you uncheck, if you don't uncheck it, it will keep updating. Uh, whenever there is a uh, updated browser version is available in the market. So first we'll see whether really we are using 97 version or not. Let's see. Open the Chrome browser. And we'll go to the help. We'll see. We'll check the see. Our latest version is 100.0.4896. So of course it will not work. So for that, what we should do? We have to use web driver version, which is which supports this latest Chrome browsers. So for that, don't worry, just go to the Google and write uh, web driver, Chrome web driver, because we are using Chrome browser, right? If you are using any other browser, you can use, uh, you can use same uh, name. I'm using Chrome, so I will use Chrome, Chrome driver. Chrome web driver 100 download whatever it's layman language whatever you are looking you just write it Google will tell you everything Google has solution for each and everything sorry I guess we are using that settings we shouldn't use that settings let's go in this window and we'll see Chrome web driver 100 download it is coming. See, the very first website it is coming this. 
So click on that. See here you are using. If you are using Chrome version 100, please download this. If you are using 99, please download this. And if you are using 101, Chrome browser, Chrome driver 101. Please. So as our current browser version is 100, we'll use this one. Let's download this one. It will go to another window. And here, as per our system requirement, we will take the same version. So it means if you are using Linux, we will take Linux one. If you are using not reachable, maybe some network issues I am facing. We'll check it again. No internet. See, I, I don't have internet. Let me fix that. This one. This is C. It's working. So once you click on this, if you are using 101, take this first one. I am using 100, so I took this second one. Click on this, it will open this window. And now I am using Windows, so I will take Windows 32. If you are using Mac 64, take this one, Linux 64, this one. So I am using Windows, so I will take this Windows zip. It will um, download. Let it get complete. It See, download a complete. So it went into my download folder. I will cut it. And there I will paste it. See. See here, this is the path where I am using where I am putting Chrome Diver.exe. So I will go to the same path. And there There I will put this new one. See Chrome driver 32. Here I will paste it. See, I will unzip it. Start all. See before that I will rename this. This is the Chrome driver which I was using till now but this is outdated now so I will rename this and I will use new one. Let me give it old one because old I have already did one time so I will put this some other name. Now I will just cut this and keep it here. So what it will do, it will take automatically this one, Chrome driver. So here, so in the code, I need not to change anything because same name, same location, I have changed the exe file, right? This was the old look, this was the location which is given in code. So I have changed the web driver here. So I need not to do anything in the code because Path is same and name is same, so I need not to do anything. If I do some changes in the path or driver name, then I have to change it. Otherwise, need not to change it. Now, let me check whether the issue is resolved or not. Let's see. It's opening. See, it opened. See, it opened nicely. Here you go. Everything fixed. Now, see, it is working for our code. Thank you everyone for watching my video. Hope it helps you. Thanks a lot.